Uh, my name is Vince Joby. I'm from San Pedro, California, and um, we're here doing a reactionary session for uh, Water Under the Bridge Records. And um, Craig had this uh, idea to do a record of the reactionaries, which was the very first punk rock band in San Pedro. They were around uh, 1978, 1979. They never did a proper recording, but they did a practice tape. So Craig's original idea was to get, take the practice tape, remaster it, and put it out as a seven inch. It's a beat up old cassette. Actually, Brendan had the other one. It was two made. <laughs> Does he still have it? I think Brendan's was the copy of this one, though. Because when we made it, of course, only one tape. And I think I have the original one. But it's a Radio Shack piece of shit. <laughs> it's the worst thing. Well, we weren't thinking of it, you know? We, were just, we thought we should make a tape to give to club guys to see if we could get gigs. It was never supposed to be a record or anything. Right. Then uh, we got the idea to uh, do that and then do the exact same 10 songs with all San Pedro based musicians doing um, basically the same 10, 10 songs. So we figured people were gonna fight over what song they did and who were they gonna play with, so Craig came up with the idea that um, we put 10 people that were gonna do vocals, 10 people that are gonna play bass, 10 people that are gonna play drums, guitar, and then 10 songs that we all picked them out of a hat. And that's how we made the bands up. So a lot of these people have never played with each other, and some of these people haven't played in 15, 20 years. They're from original punk rock bands from the 80s. And uh, somehow, we pulled it off. So far, all the sessions have gone really good, and Mike Watt's been really gracious by uh, giving us permission to do this stuff. And um, hopefully, the finished product will awe-inspire all of you. <laughs> all right? It's yeah. Joe. Joe, yeah, I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. So you're in Killer Dreamer too? I'm in Killer Dreamer with Jacob, yeah. Raul and Tony. Yeah, I guess you don't got those guys here. <laughs> but we all live in this house. We built this studio together. Cool. So, yeah. it's, it's Killer. Killer Dreams, man. Killer Dreamer. Killer Dreamer. Yeah. <laughs> Good nice. times. Ryan, you've been engineer for the most part, except for Jacob's filling in, huh? Yeah, Jacob's filling in today. So, uh, yeah, so I could play and have a good time. Dirk Vandenberg is my name, and uh, I was born in Santa Monica, raised in uh, Rolling Hills, and moved to Pedro when I was uh, 19. I'm 51 years old now, and been here ever since. So you got kind of a history with Mike and old buddies? Uh, I've known him for, yeah, years and years. I uh, wrote it for the, for the uh, Minutemen in 85. Commercial Live in 85 and uh, did the photographs for Double Nickels and various fire hose records and things like that. One prop per picture. This line's right here. Okay, ready? One, two, three. These are our first songs. Terrible. <laughs> now you got 40 people playing these songs. Oh, I know, I know. I know. You gotta understand, we had never written songs before, and so you're coming out of arena rock and, you know, 
Oyster Cult records and stuff, and then we see these bands in Hollywood playing, and so we're, I think, trying to play like them a little bit. Because it doesn't sound anything like Minutemen. You can't even tell it's Minutemen in a way. Because after that, D. Boom wouldn't play bar chords hardly. And uh, I think that's what he, why he wanted to leave. He didn't think it was original enough. And you know, and Martin's on it, which is great. All right. Is it cool? <laughs> Fuck, dude, that's genius. It's perfect. Huh? 